Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Ahmad Arbery. Uh, I hope I pronounced his name right. This is the um, young man on the right hand side whose life was taken by the gentleman that you see here on the left hand side. This is uh, first and foremost I just want to say a prayer. Dear Father God please make sure that Ahmad's um, soul reaches heaven and that he finds peace and his family finds peace. Father God, I pray and um, Mother Gaia and all the angels for peace in the in our black community and in the state of Georgia and overall for everybody that has been impacted by this because black lives do matter. Um, it doesn't matter if this was in one state or another state. We have been losing so many of our brothers and sisters. You never hardly ever see black people. Uh, you never see it. You never see black people shooting um, and killing someone, you know, the way that black people have been us black people have been treated and that's the anger that that is out there right now that's what we're all feeling that we're feeling the fact that there is so much oppression white people don't go through the same things that many of us do that are mixed or colored or whatever you want to call us and that's just the given you, you're not when you go into a store and you go shopping for something you're not necessarily asked or looked suspicious or followed by Al someone of color someone that is a Hispanic descent or African American or mixed we're treated very differently when we go into stores because of our skin color so those are the things that I feel like what we call white privilege even though um, a lot of you that are listening may not agree I know a lot of you do agree with this um, this young man had so much ahead for him. I feel like he was very level headed. I feel like he was a, a good soul. Uh, I genuinely feel like he did have some emotional, um, things that he was coping with, maybe like stress, you know, career wise, family, you know, th those kind of immediate things and pressures in life. But for the most part, I feel like he was a very decent and good soul here on earth. This is a case where he would have been in the wrong place. And I say the wrong place because I don't know. The, the I, I haven't researched. I haven't done any of that. I'm just giving you the T of what I see. Wherever this young man was shot and, and killed basically by these two here, um, that neighborhood, what I kept hearing Spirit tell me before I started the reading, because I, I haven't been paying attention to the news, only that you guys wanted me to do this reading. Um... I get that it, it, there would be like KKK people there. There would be a lot of racial profiling, um, just a lot of of low level vibrations. Now, when I tune into the actual killers, the father himself, um, a lot of mental problems there. And I'm, this is not uh, me diagnosing. Obviously, I can't diagnose someone. I'm not a, a doctor to diagnose, but I feel like a lot of anger, anger that he got caught anger that he's being held accountable a lot of anger for people in general but specifically for black people he's just very like like just a low vibrational person and a lot of inner demons in him i would not i would not you know i guess what i'm trying to say i would not put it past that he has a demon or demons inside of him that led and that's no excuse but that would have led to like i said people this is a spiritual warfare and it comes out in a, in the physical it manifests in the physical and this is what we're seeing post corona even though we're like in corona already still this is what we're seeing we're seeing all of this and um with the son you know he's a product of the father he's a product like, if you look at him, he's like, you can tell, like, there's mental issues. These two people are just very hateful, very spiteful. They have no respect for other people. 
uh, of, that are not their color. And I just feel like they would have had problems even with like neighbors and people that know them. Like they they have a history. Um, I smell alcohol, so that there probably is like alcohol involved in all of this. Like um, just very low level not caring at all and the fact that in the state of georgia that there isn't a hate crime um law or like th that's my understanding that's going to change i do feel like georgia the state of georgia will be passing a hate crime law or there will be something and in the grand scheme of things uh ahmad his life even though it was taken from us by the hands of these two individuals i do feel like in some way his soul is going to help to for this law to pass in the state of georgia there's through his passing what spirit is telling me what his soul is telling me is that there's going to be a, a set chain of events that is going to be unleashed and we're going to see that we're going to see things changing there is change coming about there's going to be a lot of tension between the our black brother and sisters, our black brothers and sisters and Caucasians, white people. There is going to be a division, a real big division, and it already is existent throughout the whole U.S. It reverberates, but I really feel like we're going to see a lot more. There's going to be protests, riots, there's going to be things like that that are, are going on. This is, people would call it a distraction from what is, is happening with corona right now but i don't feel like it was a distraction at all um a mod soul i do get that it is it is it went straight to heaven so unlike other people that would think that he, he would be earthbound i don't feel like he was he's earthbound at all um, I feel like he is actually progressing and, and is okay. Um, what Ahmad is, is making me feel is like these guys were calling him names. You know, apart from the chasing, the, uh, there was some kind of altercation um, involved. And I, I just get that the fact here that Ahmad, Ahmad was trying to get away from this. Like he wanted to get away from this. But in the moment in fear, it's reactionary to defend yourself. And he was ganged up upon. He was ganged up. And this was like already premeditated murder. They knew what they were doing. And I don't care. Like there was a police call, blah, 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 about, you know, someone looking into a construction site, blah, blah, blah. All of that to me sounds like racist okay um and again it sounds fabricated a lot of the stories are fabricated but um his soul is okay and it's the journey and the transition that i see was like i don't know how many days it's been but spirit in his soul tells me three days it took three days for him to transition smooth transition to heaven and he wants his mom and he wants his he wants his family to know that he loves them he loves them, okay? His family. That's what he keeps saying, the family. To know that he loves them and all of you guys that are keeping his memory alive and keeping things, um, keeping the fight for, for justice. There's a lot of loss here. This is a great loss, not just to our community, not just to his family, but to everyone around the world. Because I feel like Ahmad was actually someone that was here as a light worker he was here and he was going to help people in some kind of manner he was going to help them um whether it was like mentoring coaching doing something of that sort eventually um again i don't know anything about him what he studied or any of that but i do feel like he was genuinely going to make a difference and again this is the battle that we're talking about that we're in right now we're low vibrational people will stop at nothing to take another person out um i don't know if ahmad had a partner if there but i feel like there was something about a relationship here someone is is mourning him that had a lot of deep feelings for him um and and i do feel like there would have there's going to be some kind of award given i don't know if this is going to be in his memory like a plaque or something um that is is done but there's going to be some kind of thing that is done is what i'm getting um you know in it to honor him to honor his memory 
And that's what, what I get. Like, there's going to be something that is coming up. And Spirit is not too clear. But they showed me almost like it would have been up. So there's going to be some kind of trophy, some kind of uh, commemoration that comes about all of this. I also feel like they're going to find other things. These two white guys are, um, are not safe. If the judge, I feel like justice is going to be served. And what I hear Omat say is that there's going to be justice served in two, one or two ways. Either they're prosecuted in given time or... If they're not, somebody on the street is going to take care of it. And that's what I hear. Like, I hear Omad tell me that. They are very hated right now. They are very, very hated. And there will be justice is what I hear. Now, again, I'm just a psychic. I'm just a messenger. I can only give you what I hear and see from spirit. But I do feel like genuinely that this is going to be something where there is justice for a female mother figure. Um... So I don't know if his mom is still alive, but I feel like there is a, a mother figure that spirit is referring to and they, there is going to be justice for the mom. Okay. There is going to be justice for the mom is what spirit is saying. And for the family, of course, and for his friends of Ahmad, this is not just about a person being shot and killed. This is about a black young man whose life was cut short at and ganged up on these gentlemen had no business i don't care if your neighborhood patrol watch or your neighborhood something they had no business taking matters into their own hands that's why the police exist and that's why the police should have been contacted and they should have like they supposedly that phone call that happened and they should have let the police arrive and take care of it they had no business in doing this so if they are trying if they're tried in a court of law i feel like the narrative that their defense is going to try to spin is that they were trying to defend the neighborhood or protect the neighborhood and things escalated blah 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 and this was an a kind of like an accident but i don't feel like none of this was an accident this wasn't self-defense and they on their part this was cold-blooded murder murder you're looking at two people that would be if they would to be set free what i feel would happen is that they would end up doing this again and who knows what other crimes they have committed in their time or they have plotted to commit. These are two people that are full of hate. You can just see it in their eyes. You can see it in their demeanor, in their energy, in their aura. It's hate. And that is what this world is is holding on to. We still see a lot of the roots. As you can see, I feel like the son is like a puppet. He is only a product of his upbringing this old man here that we see here and i call him old because he would know common sense when you're old in your 60s or fifth, late 50s 60s that's the the bad seed the bad roots that are planted here in the universe that those seeds are dying away god the lord whatever you want to call it gaia you know mother earth those are the seeds that are being stripped from this earth because of their hate, their old antiquated views of racism, their old antiquated views of hate that they are superior because they are white. And this is what it boils down to. I don't feel like the father has any remorse. He has anger, a lot of anger, a lot of demons. And again, the son is, there is this retard, retardedness, like, I don't know if you can see it. Those of you that are tuning in, I'm not trying to like bash them, but this it's what I see. And people ask me for the truth. And that's what I'm going to always give here on my channel is the cold hearted truth. The truth is what people want. And that's what I see. I feel like they have no care. If they could do this again, they would do it again. And that's why they have to be held accountable because black lives matter. People matter. If this would have been done, this would have never been done if this would have been a white guy in that neighborhood looking in or whatever or walking, jogging, whatever. They wouldn't have targeted another a person that was white. This is a case of racism. It's a case of true evil in the world 
in the flesh. And these two were weak of mind, and that's no excuse, but weak to demons. And I, I speak about demons a lot because they're very, they exist. And a lot of people say, well, people commit crimes every day. Yes, people commit crimes every day. But sometimes there are demons that we cannot see that are invisible to the human eye that exist and get into the bodies of people to possess them, to make them do what they do. Because ultimately, they they know that these people are, are expendable. If they get prosecuted, get sentenced to to prison for life, the demon is already got what he want. He got to take out Ahmad's soul and stop him from his soul journey here on earth. This young man had an important mission here on earth and he was stopped before his time. This is what we see with high profile case murders like Selena Quintanilla. I'm just using that as an example. And other cases that we've seen, you know, throughout history where there is a celebrity or there's someone that is maybe not a celebrity, but is a black person that is being targeted and a murdered. Like we saw with Kanika Jenkins and all these other cases that we, we're seeing across the world. And there needs to be a point in time where this stops. And if we don't stop it, and if we don't speak up for the people, for our own future generations, this hate that is uncalled for is just going to continue to linger. There is, um, there is a deep mourning that's going to continue. And this is all about money, too. There's an element here about money. Um, I don't know if a mod's family is going to be given money or if there's a GoFundMe or some kind of raise of money, but they're going to be given some kind of money. People are collecting funds for this young man. Okay. Um, this young man will be known as a hero because ultimately it was not his fault that he was taken. And when a person is murdered, they get automatic entry into heaven. Okay. Because of the fact that this was not their fault. This was not Ahmad's fault. And I do feel like his family will be okay. And there, there is going to be a lot of uh, people that are of different colors, not necessarily um, African-American and, and descent. But there's going to be like uh, maybe some Hispanics and um, some Caucasians that come together to help commemorate and, and do their own tribute for Ahmad as well. And we're seeing a lot of this through social media, but it's going to continue in a bigger... There's going to be a song written, what Spirit is telling me, uh, dedicated to, to Ahmad. I don't know who's writing the song. I feel like this may be like a rapper or there may be a reference. This could be a singer. But I feel like I hear very clearly that there is going to be someone that has written a song or that will write a song and perform it in memory of Ahmad. There's going to be a female that comes forth and there could be also a male. I'm getting like two or multiple people, but at least two well-known celebrities. And this is all coming out. So this is like very, very hard for me to do because um, he just passed and it's never easy to do a reading and to connect with his soul. But I do feel like I connected and I do feel like, like I said, like he is absolutely in heaven because of the fact of how he passed and not only that but his soul here on earth was cut short he will reincarnate eventually it won't be now it will be many years from now but he will eventually come back because i do feel like he his life mission was not accomplished and these two guys that took took him out there's just so much darkness that is is coming for them and i don't feel like they will ever reincarnate um, at least not for a long time and that they would have a lot of soul work to do on the other side when they do transition and um, there is going to be some kind of accountability on the other side again like this goes back to um, souls that are held accountable in the spiritual and um, they're going to have to face Ahmad and his ancestors as well face of judgment the time of judgment in addition to whatever God source has in store for them so, yeah, this is my um, my reading on Ahmad, and I, I wish his soul nothing but peace and tranquility, and um, and I know that he is he is in that state, 
And um, for these guys, I hope that they are held accountable. I know that they will be held accountable. And I think that's what everybody wants to know, if they're going to be held accountable. And the answer is yes. If it's not done by the legal system, it will be done in the spiritual world. Or like I said, there is a scenario where somebody else in this world, I don't know who would it be, there would be a group of people that will have justice done. And that's what I hear. So many blessings, big angel hugs. And thank you so much, guys. Please um, subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram if you don't, at Psychic Medium Ray. A lot of you have been asking when I'm going to start um, offering or accepting new clients and taking on and opening my website for new reading requests. And that's going to be on May 15th. So get ready. May 15th, I reopen all of my readings. Again, the only readings that are available right now are emergency readings. For those of you that can't simply wait, that may have an emergency. Um, and those have a turnaround time of 72 hours. But um, all of my other readings, they, um, they are returning back on May 15th. Um, so blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are. Bye.